Hello and welcome to Value Chain TV News Update. I am Kabir Lawal with the news. And on the Value Chain TV News Update, we start with electricity. Nigerians have been thrown into darkness as the nation's power grid experienced another collapse in the early hours of today. The grid recorded an unprecedented zero megawatts at the time and is currently estimated to be generating 52.3 megawatts. Following this development, many parts of the country have been plunged into darkness for over five hours as the grid is yet to come into full recovery. Meanwhile, the federal government has appealed to members of the National Union of Electricity Employees, NUEE, not to down tools over the recent electricity tariff hike. The national president of the union, Adebi Adeyeye, disclosed this in an interview with journalists, noting that the union is standing by its following warning to the federal government. This is as the Nigerian Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers called on the federal government to audit all power infrastructure assets in the country. The new Electricity Act 2023 EA has prescribed more punishment for Nigerians who steal power, illegally connect electricity, temper with metering devices or embark on destruction of facilities belonging to operators in the value chain. The new law which replaces the Electricity Power Reform Act year, 20, year 2005 prescribes a conviction of a fine not less than three times the amount calculated for the infraction or at least three years imprisonment or both. Chat Moses completes the report. The law came as the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, at the weekend reiterated the timelines for fixing customers' complaints by the power distribution companies. Nigerians had, in the last two weeks, demanded top-notch service from electricity distributors, following the about 230% hike in electricity tariff for premium power consumers. Section 208, subsection 1A, B, and C of the new Electricity Act, in attempting to end the power theft issue, listed the offenses as tapping of power, tampering or bypassing the meter, damaging or destroying an electricity meter, among others. Industry operators believe that Nigeria could be losing as much as 40% of electricity generation to theft, especially by unmetered customers who justify the illegality on the basis of crazy estimated billings. It is estimated that in December last year, about 36.2 billion naira was lost out of the 134.53 billion naira worth of electricity built by the discos. However, the new law, which has been amended at least twice since it was assented by President Bola Tinubu last year, states that the punishment will hold, provided the infraction does not exceed 10 kilowatts. For Value Chain TV, Chat Moses reporting. Now to industry news. The Nigerian government has stated that the crude oil production shortfall experienced in the first quarter of the year is due to the challenges encountered with the Trans-Niger Pipeline. According to Special Advisor on Media and Communication to the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Oil, Eniken Lopobiri, Niamaka Okafo, the maintenance operations conducted by certain oil companies operating in the country has made the situation worse. He, however, assured that the issues have been adequately addressed and production is expected to return to its previous levels in the coming days. Nipco Gas Limited has disclosed plans to support the use of compressed natural gas CNG across the country. Managing Director, Nipco Gas Limited, Mr. Negandra Vema, said this in an interactive session with the media in Lagos. This move, spearheaded by various stakeholders, including industry players, aims to address issues such as subsidy costs and foreign exchange demands. The expansion of CNG infrastructure, including the construction of stations in Lagos, is part of a larger initiative to promote alternative fuels in the country. In the meantime, the restricted deposit of Zenith Bank and nine other banks has increased to 17.1 trillion naira, representing a growth of 72.7% as the Central Bank of Nigerian CBN maintained cash, cash reserve ratio CRR at 32.5% in year 2023. Other, bank in, other banks involved include Access Holdings, Guarantee Trust Holdings Company, GTCO, United Bank for Africa, UBA, Stambic IBTC Holdings, Wema Bank, FBN Holdings, 
Federal Capital Monument Group, Stalin Financial Holdings Company, and Fidelity Bank. The CRR is the minimum amount banks and merchant banks are expected to retain with the CBM from customer's deposit and it carries no interest and is not available for use by the banks in their day-to-day -day operations. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, have recovered $32 billion and $447,000 in ongoing investigation in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. The EFCC is investigating suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Beta Edu, following the alleged approval of 650 million payment into private account. In a statement issued by the head of media and publicity at EFCC, Dele Oyewale, the anti-graft agency noted that the investigations are not about individuals and that the EFCC is investigating the system and intricate web fraudulent practices. The Socio-Economic Rights and Accountability Project Serap has urged President Bola Tinubu to disclose the agreements and spending details of the loans obtained by the administrations of Nigerian past presidents since May 1999. This was disclosed in a statement issued by the organization's deputy director, Kolawale Oluwadare. Serap urged the president to direct appropriate ministries, departments and agencies to provide copies of the loan agreement obtained by government of former President Olusegun Obasojo, Umaru Yaradua, Good Luck Jonathan, and President Muhammad Buhari. And that ends the Valuchen TV news update. I am Kabir Lowell. Thanks for watching.